Hi! The disabled crossover that we are going to discuss in this video is not really a crossover. That is, it doesn't split any features of audio, like a spectrum or level, into parts. Quite the opposite. This crossover makes all bands work in parallel. This type is the right choice for fans of parallel processing. Let's build a mega chorus effect. For it, I'm going to use the M Chorus MB. Before I proceed, it is worth noticing that parallel effect processing can boost the final output level quite a bit. So to avoid a loud surprise from my monitors, I turn the output level down. First, I create the 5 band disable crossover. I use the link function and set all dry wet controllers to 100% wet in one go. Next, I choose a different modulation wave for every band in the LFO panel. I solo each band and check how it sounds with my sound source. I set the range and rate in the main parameters to my taste. Again, I use different settings for each band. The last thing to do is adjusting the plug-in output level so it matches the input one. For that, I use the AGC function. Done. Let's hear the effect. Not bad at all. Another popular application of parallel processing is compression. How about four vintage compressors in parallel using M Turbo Comp MB? Too expensive? Not anymore. Let's listen to each separately. Again, don't forget matching input and output loudness. The important thing about the parallel compressing is that compressors don't supplement each other here. That is, by using six compressors in parallel, we don't actually increase the amount of compression, quite the opposite. You can use this technique for any effect which you believe will benefit from the parallel processing. Thanks for watching.